Australia has one of the highest carbon footprints per person, more than triple the global average and slightly more than the US and Canada. Mm. Which I found interesting. Per person, we're not doing very good. Mm. It doesn't help when you've got the, the government that isn't supportive of renewables mm. and they're so hell-bent on fossil fuels and, and using coal and that sort of thing. And like the... Um, the whole thing last year with the Great Australian Bite and Equinor and what, how... What was happening with that? They, Can you explain that? So Equinor, this organisation, they wanted to to drill in the Great Australian Bight, which is um, south of South Australia. Yeah. They wanted to drill in there for, for oil. Of course they do. Yeah. So there was like these big... Well, not super big, but there were the, all these protests... Um, I actually attended one of them. Yeah. It was like a paddle out to get your surfboard. We went to oh, nice. St Kilda, um, myself and, and a couple of others. And yeah, it was literally just like you paddled paddled your board out into circular formation. <laughs> it was a cool experience. Wow. Um, and there were a lot of people there and there were a number of them going on around the country and around the world at that time. Um, and uh, then for activism, just, just yeah, no, for for that cause for yeah. the the bite, um, and then I think it was a little bit earlier this year that they announced that it wasn't going to happen, so the deal was off. Wow. So, do you think def- they succumbed to the pressure? I think I think so. You think that helped? Yeah, I think definitely. I th- it, and it was just cool to experience. I've I've never thought to do something like that if you asked 18 year old or 18 year old me i hated the idea of politics i was like eh, i don't care it's not relevant to me yeah but now same. like getting a little bit older and being a bit more aware of what's going on in the world and that you can kind of one little you might not think that that one person can can make a difference but if you've got one person that's thinking oh should i do this should i not then they do it Next person, should I do this? Should I not? Then exactly. they do it. Then they do it. Then exactly. they do it. Then they do it. Then it's you're gonna make you're gonna make some noise. It's a web, mm. and I love that you brought that up because that that is the thing. It's 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 not like I'm only one person. What can I do? It's I'm only one person. What can't I do? Mm. Like there is so much potential, mm. you know, and like you're describing, like one person to the next, and then. It's then this this is just by having conversations one on one. Yeah. Because then they influence more people, and then it continues like a pyramid. Yeah, flow and effect. Now, if you have uh, a you, with the use of social media, wow, you can have a pretty profound effect. Mm. However, what happens with social media is we have millions of people who with large influences who are saying different, maybe contradicting things. Sometimes they come together like. You know, they've come together for the, like, how amazing. When's you ever seen in our lifetime the whole world protest against police brutality Mm. and injustice? Mm. Do you remember that happening? It's it's crazy to think that that now, what's going on right now is going to be stuff that's taught in the future in like, history yeah like this is a historical time mm. right now or well, i guess you could argue <sighs> that, 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 that every time that every moment is is a historical moment because it's in the past but mm. true now like the whole black lives matter movement mm. that's been massive and then you think of like greta thunberg mm. with the, climate, the change. climate change that they're like they're big moments mm. and we're living through them like you think um generations before us their big things they had to deal with like the, all the wars yeah. the other pandemics that that arose that sort of thing yeah very serious stuff yeah but so is this yeah and ours is more now skewed towards like human rights mm. and which is which is awesome that so many people are on board and of course you're going to have people with opposing views like you're never going to have everyone on I think board. you want that though yeah you don't want everybody in an echo chamber just all agreeing with each other 